Yeah, Ghana. My name is Nana Kwame Bediako. In this very moment, I want you to understand I don't have a problem with anyone having a demonstration. It happens in any country. But I don't stand behind a sponsored violent demonstration. That is what I am saying. You just witnessed me against the discriminatory ballot in the EC. And of course, you know, I've also stood by you and supported you when you had your peaceful protest, the youth. I issued a statement encouraging you about you taking the bold step and demonstrating your courage. I was out of the country. In the three days you were there, every day I sent you food and I sent you water. But that's because you were doing something peaceful and you wanted your voice to be heard. So I stood behind you. Let's use this opportunity to express the deepest regret and pain that I have for those who have been arrested over this and those who have even hurt themselves. There are a lot of innocent people who have been arrested. And there are also people who were part of the demonstration who were violent that have been arrested. My point is, after 48 hours, none of these people have been freed. What does that tell us as Ghanaians? The law for our judiciary system, for our legislation that we're supposed to practice with our democratic constitution. It's not working. And I'd like to ask a question. Where are the peace council? Where are the opinion leaders, the Christian organization, the bishops, even the sitting government and those in power? What are you saying about this? Illegal mining in our country has destroyed all our water bodies and now it's affecting the land. I am not the one responsible for it. It's the same politicians who are convincing people to do what they're doing that is not right. Let's think about it properly, Ghanaians. And this goes to the youth especially. Who is supposed to be responsible for this water bodies being destroyed? And who has the power to restrict people from destroying our country? And who are the same people? Who has got people wearing these red, red, red t-shirts all the time? Coming on this road and causing this demonstration that is becoming violent. Corruption is going on in every balloting space and polling centers you're going to find. I stand for the youth of this country and I want fairness and justice. I want jobs to be created in all the 16 regions so there's economy across the board of this country. I want to say that our government is becoming an anarchy. The constitution is democratic, but the practice of the government is undemocratic. Let's think about it. It's two months to vote, and all of a sudden, all of these demonstrations and everything is coming out. After all the 12 years, we did not solve it. Now, and I'm the one that is supposed to be painted black for the youth, just because they know that the youth stand for me and I stand for the youth, of course. It's a generational thing. And we have woken up because we want to change. The duopoly, let's vote them out. I want to tell you that your thumb is more powerful than the street where you are standing breaking woods and setting fire into clothes and into things. Your thumb can speak much better for you. You are powerful with your thumb. And over the years, the same politicians who are paying for sponsored uh, violent protests are paying for people's thumb so they can vote for them. And now look at how our country has turned out. I am not going to be blamed for it. I am doing what I have to do with the youth of this country to be able to change the situation that we're facing. But I'm urging the youth of this country, let's use our thumb and demonstrate on the paper. The time has come. Let's vote them out. We present to you the new fall.